I can make a great pitch, and guess what? I've lost games on a bloop single over the infield, right? Good pitch, good execution, bad result. So let me give you guys a quick story from my career. So in my first year, my rookie year pro ball, I just made the team. I was coming back, I was through independent baseball, which is a, a, it's like the parallel track of the minor leagues. I got Tommy John my fifth year in, uh, or my fourth year in, in college, and I had to come back and work my way through. So I just made the team, my first three starts didn't go that great. And how do you guys feel when you start seeing your numbers climb? Like your ERA climbs as a pitcher or your batting average starts dipping? You become very aware of it, right? You're like, hey, if I have another bad game, coach might sit me. If I have another bad start, I might be out of the rotation. I was feeling the same thing. So after three or four starts, I was like, you know, if I have another bad one or another two bad ones, I might be gone. They might get rid of me because it's very cutthroat. They just want players that can perform. That's, that's the goal. There's no feeder system. It's you got to perform for us now. So I went out there with all this pressure, like I have to have a great game today. I need seven clean innings today. And in the first inning, you know what happened? I gave up like a five spot. So I come in off, off, the, off the mound. I'm expecting you to pull. My coach says, hey, we need innings out of you. We can't burn the bullpen today. So we need you to keep pitching. So I go back out there and what am I doing? I'm calculating my ERA in my head. I'm like, I was already at a 4.5. I just gave up a five spot. Now I've got to throw like what? A million scoreless innings to get my ERA back down? It's a terrible headspace to be in, terrible headspace, right? Because you can't do that all at once. I can't throw five shutout innings at once. So I got out there on the mound, my arm was also hurting, and I just started to bargain with myself. And I said, we can't throw five scoreless innings. Let's just see if we can get through this one inning. And then I said, you know, let's get through this first hitter. And then I said, feeling that my arm was like jello, Let's just get one strike. Let's get ahead right here. Let's just throw one pitch, and then we'll do it again. And so that's what I did. My first pitch, fastball, outside corner, boom, hit my spot. I was like, all right, I feel good about that. Let's do that again. And what I didn't realize was that I was building a mindset that coaches had told me my whole life, which is that you have to play this game one pitch at a time. And so I couldn't throw five scoreless innings to get my ERA back into repair. I couldn't even get through one inning. I couldn't get through the first inning without giving up a five spot, right? But I threw one pitch, and then I repeated, and I repeated, and I repeated. And I got through that inning clean, and I got five more innings for my team, gave one run in the sixth, and, I, and my coaches were really, really happy with me as I came off the field. They said, hey, you battled. You kept us in this game. I think we lost like 8-6, so we came back. And it was a really pivotal game in my career because, number one, my coaches knew that I was not the kind of guy who would roll over and quit. And for me... I learned that pitching was a lot easier if I could go one pitch at a time instead of putting this huge lump of expectations on my shoulders like you guys have coming out here trying to go three for four before you even get your first at bat, right? I learned that I could go one pitch at a time and pitching was way easier. This game is really hard when you try to control things you can't control and why you try to do everything all at once.